Today I'm going to remove this stanky old carpet from this bedroom. The first thing you need to do is remove all of the baseboards if the room has baseboards. I start by using a knife and cutting the top of the baseboard. This way, if there's a paint layer that goes from the wall to the baseboard, it won't peel the paint off the wall when you remove the baseboard. After you've done that around the perimeter of the room, use a hammer and a screwdriver or whatever prying utensil you need to to pull off the baseboard. Try to be as easy on the wall as possible when doing this. I'm not reusing these baseboards. If you're going to try and reuse the baseboards, try to be careful when you're doing this to not damage them. I've removed all of the baseboard from around the room, and I'll take this out to the trash pile. Next, I'll remove this air register. The carpet is secured to the room by these tack strips around the perimeter and they just have these little upside down nails that hook the carpet so that it can't go anywhere. It's just stretched across the room. It's not glued down or anything. So what we need to do is just start at a corner and peel it up. Ooh, there's a nice stain. There's a nice stain. Maybe I'll find some money under here. And then just go around the room and roll it up. Now that I have the carpet folded into the middle of the room, I can roll it up and remove it. After the carpet is removed, it's time to remove the carpet pad. It will be either glued down to the subfloor or stapled around the perimeter. In either case, start pulling it up just as you did with the carpet. It looks like this one is stapled. To remove the remaining staples, I use a flat blade screwdriver. And they come up pretty easily. I've finished removing the carpet pad staples from around the room, and although I haven't found any buried treasure yet, there are some goodies down in this vent. I see hmm, spider webs. I see a soda can. So that's five cents right there. Let's see what the owner of this house drank. Sam's Cola. 
And what else do we have? Oh, a whole grab bag. Hmm. Hopefully nothing bites me. Ooh. Looks like we have a sock and part of a ooh, contraceptive container. Chocolate bar. Mm. Rat's nest. Somebody needs to clean their AC vents. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Anyway, back to the job at hand. The last step is to remove these tack strips that are around the room. You can use your hammer or screwdriver. They're just held in by some short nails. Be careful, they're sharp and rusty a lot of times, so make sure you have your tetanus shot before doing that. The tack strip has been removed and that completes the job of removing the old carpet. Now it's just time for me to decide what kind of new and exciting floor covering to install. Thanks for watching.